hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can add ssl certificate in your rocket chat server so let's see right now in our rocket chat server or our studio ping server we are not having any ssl and because of that we are running our website on http not https and you can see this not secure but what's the big deal why we need ssl so first i will give you a quick example without ssl there are few features which you cannot access inside rocket chat so what are those features first of all you cannot access your microphone and video okay so let's say if i want to add a video message here you can go video message and you see it's broken or it's not not showing anything and you can't do anything then you might feel like hey this feature is not working but this is not true you need to have a ssl and this is not related to rocket chat this is related to chrome so if you hit f12 and in f12 it will show you in the console that no live video input security error only secure origins are allowed so something like https is allowed to access your video input all right so then if you want to utilize these video features and audio message features then you must host your website with a ssl and https so now we have two options to host with ssl first is you can go with let's encrypt and you can get a free certificate from let's encrypt encrypt okay then second option is you can buy a certificate from any any uh, services like codeady and big rock or whatever there are many many uh, ssl certificate guys they are selling that so you can buy and pay for that but if you want free you can use let's encrypt okay so one thing i cannot demonstrate this one because to set up with let's encrypt you must uh, have the static ip and you the host which you are using right now we are using centos which i will show you where i have my centos server here so from this server is not linked with any uh, static ip so technically i'm not hosting our website from this server this is only inside local but if you are if you have the static ip you can bind your domain name with this server the server that you are using and then you can utilize this let's encrypt because they need to verify something and then i will show you practically where it will stuck okay so now if you go to get started and okay let's just go to yes get started and then you go to set board and then in set board you need to select the software so we are using nginx in my last video i already select nginx I already install nginx in our centos and then we will select our operating system right now we are using centos 7 so you can select that and it will show you these libraries that you should install so the important one is this yum install python 2 certboard nginx let's go and hit this command inside our centos make sure you have the root access there and then you run this it will go i already installed in my system so you say it's already installed the latest version nothing to do let's clear this let's go back to the same sideboard website and we'll see what next we have to do all you need to do you need to copy this sideboard and double dash nginx go back to this right click here sideboard double dash nginx hit enter and then you need to fill some of the detail for example let's enter your domain name okay so domain name for example our studio com and obtaining a new certificate and it's actually uh, you know verify your domain name and if it is matched then only it will give you a certificate otherwise it will not so what this will if you have the studio ping.com domain name so you can this this will be your name uh, your domain name 
and then you can just point this domain name to your this current IP address and then from this server you will able to authorize and, uh, and give the authentication to this let's encrypt and they will give you a certificate okay but in my case i don't have ip address so let's just skip this process and we will install a self-signed ssl using open ssl and open ssl is a let me just clear this open ssl is a utility in uh, uh, all linux based computers or servers you can get that okay so let's just see where is that our first you need to install that open ssl so yum install open ssl and hit enter and then second thing you need to create a certificate right so certificate we will create in our nginx directory because we want to add ssl with our nginx let's go to the directory cd engine okay let's list this do we have nginx here ah uh, yes we have okay cd nginx and then list we don't have any ssl directory so we need to make make their ssl okay so that means inside this uh, cd etc nginx ssl and inside this directory we will create our certificate okay let's go this and hit ls so right now we don't have any certificate and we will create our self-signed certificate using ssl so all you need to do you need to say this so this command you need to type open ssl re request req and then this x509 nodes and days for how many days you want 365 new key rsa 2048 key out so this is important key out where you want to key out your where you want to out your key and the name of the key and there also you can out the certificate studio ping certificate so with this line you can create your own ssl certificate and key and both are required so once you hit enter you need to fill some details like your country name and you need to type two letters so right now i'm in malaysia so i will type my and make sure you hit in capitals it's not mandatory but it's good if you can type this my state okay city and company and organizational unit uh, technology and your server name let's say studio ping.com address email address so let me put my email address okay so now your certificates are ready ls sorry you need to press small ls and you can see your two files are created here uh, studio ping crt and studio ping key okay so now we will integrate these two with our nginx right now if you go back to our studio ping not studio ping just hit this studio ping and you are still seeing the nginx uh, default home page right so we will change the configuration as you can see there's like you can change the configuration right same thing we will do right now so let's go back to our CentOS server CentOS server okay now you need to create a new config for your ping so i'm gonna create a new config file and i will put inside nginx config d and i will name it ping.conf you can name it whatever your name is or maybe you can use rocketchat.conf and you hit enter so it will open a empty file inside gedit and there you need to type few things okay i will just copy paste and then i will explain what is this so first thing you need to upstream and then say that server is right now uh, your local server and you're hosting something on port 3000 and that you want to take here 
and the first thing is redirect option so whenever somebody type http uh, like uh, studio ping it will redirect to https so always if uh, somebody type http also it will redirect to https so this is important in terms of redirection and this is our http server settings where you need to define your st server name studio ping and error log where you want to keep on error logs so it will go inside where log nginx studio ping access log ssl turn on ssl certificate give the link to where you created your ssl file you remember just sorry just now we created a studio ping crt file and key file so you need to put both here and then you should pass a location like where you should um, so right now we are not hosting any website directly inside nginx server we are passing a proxy because in my local server in this ip address right now uh, our studio ping server or rocket chat server is running as you can see here our rocket chat server is running on port 3000 and then we will route that to our wait uh, okay so then we will pass this proxy here and whenever somebody type just the studio ping it will redirect to this but through proxy so it will not see any ip address there or uh, any port there okay so uh, let's just save this and after save if you go to our website and if you try to refresh nothing will happen because you need to restart the nginx server so let's go to our send to a server clear everything system ctl restart nginx 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 okay so with that once your server restart we will see the status also first before we go further let's just see the status make sure everything is fine all right so our nginx is running in active and no error so far let's go back to our windows machine and here we are seeing this default page let's just refresh we should see the studio ping all right so now we are not seeing the default page but what we are seeing is a connection is not private and there is some settings like your certificate authority is invalid uh, definitely you will see that because we created our own self-signed ssl certificate and that is not recognized by chrome so all you need to do you need to go to advanced and proceed unsafe once you proceed you are able to access your website and also it will show you you want to access and you can just say allow so now you can see that your studio ping is now hosted on your https server already if you go and refresh that also uh, in your port 3000 also is running so from both ips you can run but in your studio all you need to do just type studio ping and you can access this very easy then go back to uh, our uh, inside and we'll see that uh, all the features we are able to access let's go to admin and and i'm going inside so now let's see that uh, our video message can be sent this so it's http and here you can see still we cannot access our camera but let's go to our https studio ping and there if we go to add and video message and immediately hi friends you can see the camera so with that you can also able to access the ssl all other features like sending a voice message video message and it's also good when you go to not secure if you see the website information you click here and you can see that what are the things that is accessible inside your website like camera microphone notification sounds okay like you can see the certificate also but it's invalid but if you click here you remember we we created this certificate is to issue to studioping.com and valid from like today's date because we put 365 days that's why and also if you go to the details it's all details that we put okay and all our keys and everything is there 
So once you have like proper SSL certificate, then you will see green bar here and you see that green lock which says that, hey, it's secure. So I hope this is it for this video and uh, now we will continue with our other things there. We will see how we can uh, browse and set it up some other settings inside Rocket Chat. All right. So I will see you in my next video.